Hi, my name is Jake Kurth. I'm with Leeds Forensic Systems. Today we're going to be going over diopter adjustment on the Leeds LCF3 firearm comparison microscope. The eyepieces on the LCF3 are printed with correction adjustments or correction numbers, diopters, and they go up in whole steps. The idea is with this technique we're going to go through today, we'll be able to find our diopter number so every time we sit down at the microscope, we can dial in the correction of the binocular for our eyes. And what will happen is the crosshair will then be in focus, the dividing line of the bridge will be in focus, the camera will also be in focus when we're in focus, and additionally, whenever I zoom in, focus at high power, and then zoom out, the image will stay in focus. It's kind of what I call a quality of life on the microscope, so you're not always having to fight the microscope to get in focus and the camera uh, to get in focus. Uh, there are many techniques, but the one I like to do is by high magnification, focus, zoom out, and then focus with the eyepiece. Um, finding your diopter number is much easier if you have a flat surface to look at. So I'm going to use one of my business cards. And what you're going to find is, depending on how much water you've had, depending on how well you slept the night before, you'll see these numbers tend to change but over time, you're going to find a range that will work for you. All right, so the first step I'm going to do is make the eyepieces wrong. So that can either be adjusting them all the way out or adjusting all the way in. Some people find it easier to adjust all the way in and then adjust to their correction. I prefer to adjust all the way out and then move in. So I make this eyepiece. And this eyepiece and this particular scope, the adjustment collar is actually fixed to the binoc. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a similar adjustment there. So now these eyepieces are wrong for me. It's much easier to start wrong and then see as the image gets into focus as opposed to partially in focus. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom all the way into 102x. And bring the sample into focus using my fine focus on the stage. Looks good. Now what I'm going to do is zoom all the way out to my low power at 6x. And now, one eye at a time, I'm going to quickly and confidently make the eyepiece adjustment uh, and bring the image into focus. Uh, generally, it's best if you just cover an eye, because then your, your eye doesn't go into a heightened sense of trying to bring things into focus. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to bring it into focus. All right, that looks good. And now I'm going to do the same for my left eye. All right. Now what I can do is test it by zooming in and zooming out and seeing if my image remains in focus. Final step is to see what your diopter numbers are. So pull up my eyepiece. My right eye looks like a negative 1. What you'll see is dash marks, 1, 2, 3. And then it looks like I'm at a negative 2 point, maybe 5, for my right eye. And for my left eye, it looks a little bit below negative 1. So now the idea is every time I come back to sit at this microscope, I can dial in those numbers, and I'm going to be more or less correct for my vision correction. Let's say you wear glasses, and you don't want to do the diopter adjustment. Uh, the eyepieces on our LCF3 are corrected for glasses. So you can actually wear your glasses. Uh, what you would do then is simply dial to the 0 mark on the eyepieces. And then your glasses are what is doing the total vision correction. Um, quick note, the vision correction on the binocular won't adjust for astigmatism. So if you have astigmatism and you have vision correction for it, uh, you probably still want to wear your glasses. Thanks for watching. Jake Kerf of Leeds.